clash with Horsham and then uh, Terralgan. We've got a bit of a gap there, so a bit of leeway. They are moving up again at uh, Addington for the running of this the uh, Trotters free-for-all. And Mountain Gold is the long odds-on favourite. Now, it looks like they may be going to hold there at Horsham. So uh, let's firstly go to Addington for the running of the Trotters free-for-all. Rion Murtha for race seven. Fire and Kevin, and the starter has called the full start, and uh, they're up behind the mobile again. Of course, they haven't lost their formation, and going right around towards the starting era with about uh, a third of the track yet to negotiate. There's Africa in front. I tell you what, I was quite impressed by the look of Africa today. Uh, she's a big black mare, but uh, she looked really good today. Her form's been a bit disappointing. And Bruce Negus, of course, the Courage Under Fire trainer. We'll probably have the polish on her so that she's cheery ripe now. She's been slowly coming back to form, but it's been a while since she's shown any. I don't think since the end of the Minions in Auckland that uh, we've seen her showing any sort of form, but she really looks the part today, if anything else. Let's get it. it looks like they're going to grind to a halt and completely redo the start here. Let's just have a look. We won't see anything here, I don't think. Mountain Gold and Shot, see the fella hard up on the gate. Sundana Bay ready to go, but you can see way in the distance there's Solar Fire. She's gone into a gallop, and Kevin Townley apparently called that a wee bit before that. Jack Mulcahy heard it and said, well, we'll give everyone a fair go. And call it a false start. So now we've got a delay. OK, another false start there. So it might be an idea of Horsham get underway now, I'd say. <laughs> Horsham uh, market. It's Optic Fibre 17, down to Rebellion at uh, 13s, 12 incorrigible. Then our pocket line are $1.40, the odds on favourite. And then further over to... Straighten Hill lead, then Pluto Crat. So we'll go upstairs again for take two on the New Zealand Trotters Free For All, Rion with Radio Pacific. So down to the start, they're racing this time. Cedar Fella stepped OK from one and Solar Fire's right on his back. Sundown the bay's out well, so's Mountain Gold. Looks as though he's heading for the front and wide out on the track. Globe Trotter going up the centre, Deirdre's Pride. And they were followed after them by Little Rock Africa and Sundom's Way. They race for the first turn and Barry Purden takes the hot favourite Mountain Gold the lead at the pavilion and outside at Deidre's Pride in the trail Cedar Fella, Sundown and Bay scoring a nice 1-1 position, Solar Fire 3 back the markers, Globe Trotter 3 up, Andrew here in the middle of the pack and Little Rock starting to surge around that, Africa second to last and Sundown's way goes to the back of the field, they race into the back and Mountain Gold the leader, he goes down to the 2,000 metres, it doesn't appear to be a big pace but it could be a bit deceptive, Mountain Gold's the leader by about a length and a quarter, easing back a little bit to Globe Trotter and going around the outside and uh, trying to head them all off now is Little Rock. So Little Rock goes up outside of Mountain Gold is followed by Cedar Fella getting a lovely run behind the favourite at the 1800 metres. Globe Trotter nestles into the 1-1. One, one. Solar Fire 3 back. The markers Deidre's Pride's next to that. Two lengths to Sundown a Bay is followed by Andrew Weir. Africa two lengths away and Sundown's way is the tail ender. So as they race past the 1600 metres, Mountain Gold in front by about a length and a quarter. Mountain Gold steers them round into the turn into the straight. Just over 1,500 metres to run. Coming forward a little wider out of the track now is Africa. It's going to attack Mountain Gold. In behind them is going to be Cedar Fella. Sundown's ways improved sharply as well. Little Rock has settled back to the 1-1. One, one. Sundown Bay coming forward. Solar Fire losing her place now being drifted through on the inside. Over the outside to Globe Trotter. Andrew Ayer is second from last and Debris Pride has gone back to the rear the quarter, the lead time was 118.4 and the quarter was 31.5. So past the pavilion they travel now. Mountain Gold still controlling the race though. Sundown obeys the new attacker to him the outside. Cedar Fellas had an enjoyable trail. Sundown's way now next and it's followed at the 900 metre pole by Solar Fire and Africa together. Andrew Weir was next followed by Little Rock then Globe Trotter and Deirdre's Pride. There have been a lot of changes in the race but none to the lead as Mountain and Gold has led them throughout. A few of the others have skirted around and tried to go up and attack him. At the moment, though, Mountain Gold leads them down the back. Over on the outside to Sundown, a bay. Cedar Fellas had a sweet run, followed by Sundown's Way. Africa was next, and behind them, Solar Fire and Globe Trotter trying to improve around them. Then Little Rock around the outside of it. Deidre's Pride and Andrew Ayer's gone to the back. Mountain Gold leads them out the back. The half ticked over at 61.8, so they're going along at a great speed. 400 metres.
metres to run. Mountain Gold appears to be cruising at the moment, and Barry Purd is just sitting still. Sundown and Bay being shaken up by Mike De Philippi. Cedar Fella waiting for Room Pope, hoping for Mountain Gold to roll away. And as they come round the turn, Sundown's way was next, but it all oh, Mountain Gold's left them. Mountain Gold, Barry Purd and puts the foot down. He clears away. A late run coming from Sundown's way, and Africa down the outside. Sundown and Bay and Solar Fire, but Mountain Gold far too strong. Mountain Gold got home. Sundown's way second. Africa third. Sundown and Bay. Sundown and Bay and Solar Fire were next across. Then Andrew Ware, Cedar Feller, Little Rock, Globe Trotter, and Deirdre's Pride. Well, the champ Mountain Gold gets home and was far too good there in the Air New Zealand trotting free-for-all over Sundance Way and Africa. And it was 7, 11 and 4 there at Horsham with the favourite home there. Now Seth Grafton, once again, here's Jeff Heath. 100 metres of distance, race four. Off and racing now, fairly level.